We are back, ladies and gentlemen. We're better than ever. We got Joey Coldcuts in the house. We got Mikey V in the house. Gentlemen, I appreciate you sticking with me. We were supposed to start a little bit earlier here today. Had a little bit of an air conditioning issue, but we are here. We're all happy to be here. And I will tell you what, boys, I am happy to see you guys. That's Giuseppe D, top left shelf. And then, of course, you got Mikey Bear Down Cuz on the bottom. Coldcuts, do you have anything that you'd like to start the show with today? No, no, I'm, I was ready to, to go an hour ago, but here we are. Again, we appreciate your patience, and it turns out not so much patience after all. Uh, Mikey V, do you have anything that you'd like to start the show with today? Good to see you, boys. Good to see you, boys, back and alive after the trek to Arizona. I got to be honest, at certain points of that trip and the documentation I was looking at, uh, I was starting to wonder if everyone was going to make it back in one piece. I, I do hope I haven't spoken to Perez yet, but it looks like he's posting on Instagram, so I would imagine he's OK. Special Thirsty Thursday uh, edition of the pod. I'm excited for it. You know how to go with the margarita uh, drink polo like you know, just to celebrate the Thirsty Thursday here. Um, incredible trip for the boys really was just a special trip. I mean, Perez, this guy, he, he's, he, <laughs> we got to get him on the pod soon, Bob. Yeah. I just, he's something else, bro. He, he, he is really, I mean, belly flopping into the pool. Um, he did a great, I will tell you this too, booking wise, the Airbnb moving forward on these Bob, the sports plays. I mean, t- correct me if I'm wrong, Joseph. But the Airbnb is the answer. It is so much better than a hotel. And to be quite frank, it's it's cheaper than a hotel, too. I think so. The one thing about the hotel that's nice is they clean up after you. And there were times where that place looked like Hurricane Katrina had hit um, <laughs> with the amount of beer cans and, and pizza boxes and shit that was just all over. Um, but, yeah, no, it was nice because you have your own space. You have you have the opportunity to just kind of hone in on the, when you have a backyard, like we did, that's, that's really nice. It was tremendous. I'm bad. And people started to, it was like around the, it's like a club that we were on a country club, like not a very nice one. It was just like an okay course we were on, mm-hmm. but pe- it started to get around that we were there. So yeah. we had people stopping by to come say hello to us. Some guy came by to pitch us his golf gloves that he had like throughout the stay, which is a little bizarre. I mean, it was cool to see everybody, but but it was a little bizarre. Even me and Perez one time were upstairs, like having a drink on the patio. And one guy drives by the cart and he looks into the house and he goes, I think they're napping right now. And then he looks up and he sees, I mean, there were people coming by. It was pretty bizarre. Well, you have to understand, you know, with with, uh, you know, heavy lies the crown, gentlemen, and, and with, <laughs> with the recent uh, with the recent surge of success, this is what's going to happen. So, That's, you know, it's going to come time. The paparazzi is going to be chasing you down. Yeah. You know, it's it, this is this is the way it goes. Only, by the way, only bear down would say that quote right there. And no, like that, that is <laughs> never in my lifetime. I never would have used that quote. Never. And it's just the verbiage it's out of this. It's perfectly band. fitting. It is perfectly fitting. It is. It absolutely is. I never would have thought about that. Um, I, I want to jump right into it. I, I do. Uh, again, tremendous, tremendous trip. Um, but we do got to jump into this a little bit. But actually, no, before we even do that, um, I just want to put on display. We won't call out the place by any means. Without question, we went to, I think, the worst Italian restaurant I have ever been to it was, in my life. Um, it was what nightmares are made of. It, I mean, Bear Down, did you see the meatballs that I yeah, put up yeah, there? Yeah. It was awful, Bear Down. And quite frankly, I knew it was going to be awful from the minute that we went in there. Now, Perez like had Swedish meatballs. If oh, it yeah. Doesn't yeah. Even, I, that, it doesn't even give Swedish meatballs a good run for the money. I, I'll say this right here and right now. Perez did a great job booking, but this was one that was just way off the mark now he said that they had good ratings to to me to it give is. this place a good rating is just an abomination and you know bear i knew immediately when we walked in that this place was going to stink i saw a plate with steamed broccoli on it and to me if you have steamed broccoli i was like oh and then i saw the pasta like steamed broccoli what is it a chinese restaurant like, i'm telling you who was, orders steamed broccoli then i saw they had Italian there's a, people who were sharing this pasos penny with just like like a red shitty sauce dabbled or i was like oh man 
Yeah, the meatball, this. the meatballs look terrible. And you know, people always laugh at me and like think that I'm kidding. And I'm like only sort of kidding when they're like, oh, you know, you ever think about moving away from New Jersey? And my biggest fear, one of the biggest fears about moving away from New Jersey is just the absolute lack of quality from the cuisine. If I'd move out to like, oh, why don't you move to the Carolinas? Oh, why don't you move to Texas? Nothing against those states. Like I love barbecue. Like some of those states have fantastic restaurants. There's no question about it. But for me to move like the, to the Midwest or to Arizona, I would be deathly afraid of the drop off in Italian food quality. I would just be petrified. There's a lot of a food big change. reason why I won't leave. I'm so spoiled. And Bob, you know very well. And Joe, you got a taste of it coming out here a couple yeah i was pretty phenomenal it's it, it's you're so spoiled because you don't even have to try you can't miss you just walk down the street you walk into a random place and you're likely to get a really solid meal especially if you're you know in the northern region of new jersey by new york and you really like metropolitan area it's just it's not fair the thing it's, is there's millions of people living in these cities I, how are there's there's no good rest. I I, I can't understand. I'm sure it's like, there's well, got to be. I'm sure there's got to yeah, be, but that was just a, hit, a swing and a miss. But I'm saying the swing and the misses, I would imagine, are much more frequent. But bear down, what you don't there. understand, the place was packed. Packed. We had packed. to wait People to get in. We had to wait. We couldn't even walk in and get our table. We were in for our reservation, and we had to wait at the bar for 15 to 20 minutes before a table opened up that we could sit down at. I mean, like, are these people just like are walking zombies? Like they think that this is good food? I, I don't get it. You know what was bizarre too? We we got the meal. It came out. And right. within, I mean, legitimately, within a few minutes, server comes up. He goes, would you boys like some to-go boxes for that? Well, yeah, Bob, because I didn't even eat my meal. I put it off to the side. There was the fucking more than half the meal there. It's brutal. Which is just, and you guys were just probably like, no, 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 we're good. We're good. You know, the other thing, too, that was extremely uh, concerning to me is the pricing of the menu items was very low. I agree. So I was I like, agree. either it's a really old school spot where they just haven't adjusted the prices or this this food that we're about to have is really not going to be up to par. And of course, it was the latter of the two. Um now we did go to a steakhouse the second night. Bob was really, really good. Yeah, you know what we had, and not—I mean, not to make it an episode of the Pantry Boys, but I'm sure people don't mind the food talk. I mean, I could talk it all episode. But what Cutsy ordered, which was a great order, and these things were fucking tremendous. I've never had this before. Go ahead. Was a fried deviled egg, and this thing was so it came with like a little good. aioli that you dipped it oh, in bro, it was and you bite into it then you get the deviled egg inside with the bread breading outside it was stupendous yeah I mean, if you're gonna i i think that i mean steakhouse same thing like i i've heard arizona like if you want like mexican i heard the mexican in arizona's but um, like tex-mex like i heard it's unbelievable out there well, like stick to what you do best that's what I, if i was there i would i i italian is like you're you're Italian. What we're used to is like you're really, really testing the waters by by going to an Italian restaurant in Arizona. That's just my opinion. I'm sure there's there's fantastic places that I don't know about. And I'm not trying to offend anybody from Arizona. But at the same time, I you think you're just you're walking into murky waters going to an Italian place in, in Arizona. Perez's defense. He knows how much we like Italian food. So he wanted to give us an option Which to have very nice Italian one night. And and that just so happened to be have really good ratings. And it was not too far from where we were staying. Um, he, he, he is very good at planning these golf trips. He, like uh, for for he has enough experience. That's something right. that something that I hadn't had in a while that we had, and Perez spilt it all over the carpet in the Airbnb. <laughs> he had he had he had a real is that what, is that what he was on his uh, hands and knees? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he spilt. He ordered of all blizzards to order. He got the peanut butter mud slide was the name of the blizzard, and and that's what he he had spill of all blizzards to spill. He got the mud slide, oh. but. Some that I hadn't seen, you know, being out here that they, they don't have. It's only really on the East Coast that I've seen. I mean, I know it's all over, but I have, there's not really one in L.A. that that hits so good is, is Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen's spectacular, great. Spectacular, yeah. bro. I don't know what they do with those blizzards, but it is just tremendous. The blizzards are great. And then they used to have something called the Peanut Buster Parfait, which was I ordered like, it that's last what Joseph, night. That's what Joseph got. Oh, the Peanut Buster Parfait is something else. The layered, the layers of the peanuts. There's so like, you get, 
the you get fudge. your peanut distribution as you go through the ice cream. You get your pe- full peanut distribution, first level, second level. It's really something. Talk about something. a guy who just knows. He just knows it. I, and, and nobody else knew what that was. I was like, how can you not know the peanut buster parfait to me is like a no brainer. It's real talented art, ar- architect now, who designed that. Now I got to bring up something. Bob's not going to be thrilled about it, but we're talking on the topic of restaurants and bear down. You got to hear what happened the, the other night before we left to go to Scottsdale. We oh, went man. to, yeah. you know, Rayo. his sacred restaurant, you know, the Rayo's. You know, Rayo's in, in West Hollywood. It's, it's, it's his spot in Hollywood. It's his spot, you know, and by the way, I have not been with him for a while because normally he go midweek. And when I, you know, I was working. So this was one of the first times I've been in a while. This guy knows everyone. We walked in before we walk in, I guess the bartender was outside. They're chopping it up. We go inside. The hostess knows him. We're talking with the server. The one server, she wasn't even working the bar and she was spending more time at the bar talking to Bob. I think she's got something for him, but that's neither here nor there. So he's in his element. We're having a meal. We're watching the game. We're, we're betting on everything. And then the bill comes. Bob graciously says, I got it. I'm going to take care of the bill, which very nice. Very nice. So I'll give kudos to Bob on that. Comes to grab for his wallet, though, and can't find his wallet. His wallet has slipped on the bar stool. And then as he came to pick it up, now given that we were there for a while, like probably like an hour, hour and a half. He looks down, bear down, <laughs> and underneath the bar stool, a bear skin strawberry flavored condom Hold on, on Hold the on. floor underneath the bear, Hold underneath on. the bar stool. And it had been there probably at least an hour. Hold wait, on, wait, 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 strawberry, <laughs> strawberry, strawberry flavored, flavored not, bear skin condom. It was not and I'm like, a what strawberry. Are you, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to go in the handicap bathroom with the condom on with the, like, so what? Sick. It this was is so, is absolutely so unlike anything I've ever seen. Promo course, code Bobby Rubbers. <laughs> Bobby Rubbers. Hold on. I tell you what, Bob Trojan first. may be on the line. After this episode. You never know. <laughs> He'll first be number, first. number one selling condom distributor in fucking Southern California before you know it. it Is it, that not it, bad? That's a bad was, look in your favorite it, restaurant. It was it was humiliating. It, it was because I knew that it had been. <laughs> when I looked down, I realized that 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 it was so clearly my bar stool. There wasn't anybody next to me. Oh, there were yeah. people. It was so clearly my condom. And in regards to the <laughs> strawberry, this is not Dairy Queen. It wasn't a strawberry flavor. It was a pink. It was cover. a red. It was a red. One of those. Skin Sorry, skin cherry. Skin. Then I don't know what. A, it, what a flavored skin. It, just because. Condom. Just because it's red doesn't mean that it's a strawberry flavored <laughs> oh, condom. Bob, it you was humiliating to yourself. By the way, all the staff, the manager, <laughs> everybody came up. They were talking to him. They had to it see it. Bad. Yeah, it was bad. It was, but, but, I, I Bob, was, why are you bringing a condom to the restaurant? Well, you, know, you, know, you know, can well, we not well, get into you know, that? First of I mean, all, well, first what are we all, doing here? Well, I want to hear Bob. Bear Down's thoughts on this. Tip of the, tip of the cap to Bob Ridiculous. for practicing safe sex, first and foremost. Yeah, Perez, <laughs> you know. Perez was busting my balls for this. Perez, <laughs> if you have a kid, you don't think you should be the one wearing condoms? You're, you're belly flopping into a two-foot pool, and you think you shouldn't be wearing condoms? Well, let's not change the onus here. We're, we're talking about you right now. Now, Bob, Fair. well, Fair. you know, practicing safe sex. I got to tip my cap to that. Good, good on Bob for that. You so know, he's sick, eligible. Bro. He's possibly the most eligible bachelor in Los Angeles. Some would say, I don't <laughs> so know, uh, um, but you know, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's so quite bad. a bad look though. in in, in Rayo's only because so everyone does know you in there, but I, you know, I don't know. I very humorous. That's for sure. Very, <laughs> oh, oh, very had humorous. a lot of fun with it. I, you know what, in all honesty, I, I could you take a lot on the chin. <laughs> that was embarrassing because it, it was so clearly my condom and it was just. Right out. Yeah, I said, was, why don't you leave a condom for the tip there, Bob? The only you know? thing that could have made it more identifiable is if he had the brilliantly dumb show logo. <laughs> on the, on the condom <laughs> <record itself. laughs> Bobby skins. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got oh, so oh, the number one face of latex. It's Bobby. You know, look, I'll say this, you, though, I, you never know. Durex Cutsy or was, Trojan could be knocking at the door. Cutsy after this was, episode. Cutsy. Cutsy was sticking <laughs> it to me. And here's the deal. It was a really embarrassing. I know if that happened to Joe, I would have destroyed him. I mean, I would have busted sure. his balls. Oh, so you yeah. just got to take it. But, oh, yeah. 
But there's just know, no reason to have a condom in your pocket when you're coming well, for dinner with me, unless you. I mean, I don't know what the hell you had in mind there, but yeah, we there was no plans. Wow. There was no plans that you were going to be no. meeting up with anybody at the restaurant and then not going home after. It. I don't know. I don't know. I, what I, I've I, learned in my in my in my experience, you don't put a condom in your wallet because. First and foremost, it gets crumpled, it gets squished, it gets all fucked up. You don't do that. And nowadays, with today's technology, you just go on your phone and you can order a condom to be delivered right to your door. Oh, is that so, Joe? Is that so? This is Apparently, yeah. Else. Because what Life I recall... Lessons, you're not going to talk about oh, that. Oh, oh, you're playing a very dangerous game right now, Giuseppe. You're, you're not going to talk about that, Bob. <laughs> you're, you're playing... A very dangerous game right now. I don't think it's dangerous. It's the truth. I'd love to hear what Bob has oh, to say. Bob's got a story. I don't think he's got the stones to tell it. Well, to be well, well, you know, well oh. here's the deal. If, if, if I got the green light for it, I would love, I would absolutely love to tell a story. I mean, Bear Down would now, understand. Now, 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 now you have to. He would take Bear my would, side, by the way. No, he wouldn't, because talk about guys. Well, now I have to hear I have to hear the story. <laughs> I have to. Yeah, I don't shit. I'm, 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 I, have no, I have no fucking alliance Joe, to anybody. Joe had a <laughs> first things first. Joe had a friend of the show. I don't know why he sent them these, but a friend of the program decided to send Joe condoms. And Joe will. Take I had a- COVID. Let's. Uh, Bob's frozen here somewhere. I had COVID like months and months ago. I remember. A friend of the pod. You're good, Bob. You're good. A friend of the pod who who cared about me sent me a care package with a bunch of snacks and shit. For some reason, he sent me Trojan Magnum condoms as well. Oh, Dude, wait. Is, this the, is that the care package that I know who sent that? Yes, case? you do. Yes, you do. And 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 here we and that's Greta, a bizarre thing. thing to send. Joe care will take to a package from anybody. He's got you don't packages. Say. He's got packages coming in for water. He's got packages. Essential water. It, he's got a package coming in from at anybody that offers him something. He's going to take it. Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't fault him on that. This I guy can't. sent them the package. Okay. And he sent them a Magnum condom. Joe had a, a girl that he had long awaited to, to get down to business with very pretty girl used to work at the hotel with her. And I can okay. confirm. All right. We'll not go too into deep. Very. I, I was very excited for him. Really was. This was good for Joe. And he brought her to the to the place, and he didn't have condoms. The only condoms that he had was well, Raina um, threw my threw my condoms. Don't out. blame it on the cleaning lady. I didn't no, blame it on her. I, on, I didn't blame it. I said that I was I was here. I was playing FIFA. Well, she had some she bosses, mistook. and she said basuda, and I didn't. I just said yes, basuda, basuda, and I guess it was my condom box. She mistook the uh, the magnums for garbage bags, but so they, she actually threw well, the listen, garbage. The story out gets they, pretty wild. They were magnums, so they get ready to get down the business. Joe looks at the magnums. He looks. He goes. I ain't fitting into one of those. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he, goes, he, goes, he goes, unless I make one of those animal balloons out of there, this ain't happening. <laughs> Fair enough. I looked and I didn't have a, I didn't have a condom and I saw those and she saw them on the side. She said, oh, you use those. I said, I don't know what you're looking at that I'm not, but there is no way in the world. These things are made for like porn stars bear down. These things are like 10, 12 inches. I could I could have wrapped my body around this thing. I did not even open it up. I said, well, I guess that's that. Not to get this into is, too much of detail, really, but really. I'm going to tell you this right now. If you don't think the six foot seven Mikey V is going to fit, <laughs> let me tell you one of the things. He'll fit into this thing like it's a goddamn sand. Yes, it would have been a good look if Bear Down dropped his condom in rails because everybody else would have been fucking locking at the door to see it. He would have got a free meal. <laughs> A, this is a family people. show. It's a family show. <laughs> family show. Um, now, oh, Joe, did, how did the, did, did the night end? Did the night end or was no, there? No. Okay. No, it was it. And by the way, it was the same day I left. So I had raging blue balls. It was terrible. <laughs> I thought you got a hand job. Yeah, I did. But that does. it's not the same, Bob. Well, but how'd you get blue balls if you got a hand job? It was like, an, and I mean, I guess it's not really. I was, I was devastated. You know what I'm saying? It was a devastating turn of events. I was really let down. I was really upset. 
All you right. knew this. We talked about well, it. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're playing a dangerous game right now. You're playing a very dangerous game. <laughs> the Rayos thing was, was was very embarrassing. It really was. It yeah, was very but that embarrassing. Could, I mean, that could happen. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. funny because I think you need to have cameras on us at all Look, times. guys, here's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is that Bear Down's got a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know I apologize. how that I came apologize to, to my wife <laughs> tomorrow. No, God bless her. Lucky girl. Cuts elastic that I'll say about the cock. <laughs> when we're Jesus leaving. When we're leaving. <laughs> when we're leaving. This is like a Howard Stern show. When we're leaving Bear Down's house, we look down. We both look down at Bear Down's shoe together. And then we both look up at each other. He goes, <laughs> Size 14. Yeah, he, uh, he goes, Bear Down, is that your shoe? Bear goes, it's oh, not all the- easy. You know who's got a bigger <laughs> shoe? We, we were with J.J. Watt the other day. This guy, I ripped my shoe. He let me try his shoe on. Dude, it was like wearing a clown shoe. Yeah, yeah. Size 15. This guy, Bear Down, Good guy. is a, he's like, he's a big boy. Like sheetrock, like yeah, just yeah. a built of granite. Yeah. Would you not um, be so, Bob? Yeah, just, just, just an absolute monster. Just a he's a unit. Monster. He's a really unit. nice guy, though. Bear down. We went before, we, like we went to Arizona, okay. And I'd been playing yep. some good golf prior. I developed the shanks in Arizona, and there's no range bad. time there. You're going to the golf course. I can't begin to tell you how bad I was on the court. It, it was there was nothing I could do. I just had to sit there. In your just defense, crack so Bob, how was how was what? Was, was he a good golfer? Yeah, he was better okay. Than, he was okay, better than me. I mean, he, I, I, he was a pleasure to play with. In your defense, Bob, you there's no range time because bear down. It's like ninety something degrees at like eight thirty yeah. in the morning, and it's but it's hot. it's a dry heat. I will, say, I will say, you know, one rain session could really fix whatever it is you got. I was so bad. I mean, just video after video. I got a month and a <laughs> half coming up of me just getting buried in YouTube comments. And look, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by First Person. Thanks to First Person, I can take a more active role in my brain's overall health. 25 years of research and experimentation later, they created First Person, an innovative, precision, targeted, cognitive supplemental system, which uses the brain-boosting medicinal benefits of mushrooms to activate the full potential of human cognition and brain health. Start improving your brain health and cognition with First Person. Get 15% off your first order by going to getfirstperson.com and use code DUMB. Yes, I said it, DUMB. That's getfirstperson.com, code DUMB for 15% off your first order. You can not go wrong with first person. Take care of yourself today. Moving on. Um, moving on. I want to put Giuseppe on the hot seat if he wasn't already uh, just on again? the hot seat. But um, if we, the Cousins Main Lobster Saga is not, by the way, I mean, this has really been enjoyable so far, if I don't say so myself, but the Cousins Main Lobster, lobster Saga it is is not over. And I, I'm going to send it over to Bear Down. This is something that we said had to be discussed last week. I mean, I, th- I think it took place right before we went to Arizona, right around when the condom thing happened and all. Um, Bear Down, I am, I'm going to go ahead and give you the floor. I'm listening. I'm just grabbing a bottle of water. But the stage is, is yours, Mikey V, because this needs to be addressed because I, this is just absolutely unacceptable. Well, I mean, you brought it up, Bob, but I mean, uh, you know, Joe gets a DM from, from cousins, Maine lobster. And he's, you know, uh, the gentleman that he's attempting to be, which he, he is a gentleman, but he was attempting to, you know, uh, extend the olive branch, I guess on my behalf. Yes. To cousins, Maine lobster. The only issue being when he extended said olive branch, I was referred to as the other guy on the pod. I wasn't referred to by name. I wasn't referred to by my friend or my my good pal or my brother or my, you know, nothing. I was referred to as the other guy, which is, <laughs> I mean, I got to be honest. I was a little taken back by that, Joe. I was, I was trying to do a nice gesture, Baird, and I meant nothing by it. But I know I just I felt I feel as though like on the tier of of our friendship, I feel like I'm at I'm at pretty much the top of the totem pole. You know, I really can't get much higher 
But when I saw that, I feel like I was knocked down. A you know times. that I'm a very, that I consider you a very close friend. I don't know if this guy listens to the podcast. I don't know if he's synonymous. If I see Mikey I mean, bear down. He absolutely. He absolutely. He absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah, because, no, because this is, That's no, Bob, this is not the same guy who sent us the original package. This is the CEO of the company. Even so he hit me up. So I don't know if he listened to the podcast. I told him, go listen to the podcast. I said, me and my me and my one friend, by the way, I said, me and my one friend got a package. Everything was great. But one of our other, the other guy on the on the show. The other guy. The other guy. Yeah, and I said, you know, I, I made a joke out of, out of it to like kind of get, you know, to kind of get him to laugh and to send me a package to you. Now, I said, you know, he was whining because he be, didn't get must, a be, uh, must be on the way. Must be coming like Christmas. Well, no, I package. told him to cancel it because you said that if the package showed up, you're going to throw in the garbage. Whoa. So did you <laughs> hold on? So, and I, I want people to hear. See, see, I'm surprised. How did you cancel? I would love to know how you canceled. He was so pissed. No, I just didn't follow up on it. I didn't send the oh, address or anything because no. I was like, I don't want good lobster to go into the trash can. Well, I got to tell you, there's an there's another chapter that you guys don't know about. With What's cousins, that? main lobster. Oh, did they, they actually send you something? Wait, no, no, I they think... sure as shit didn't. But Wait, I hold... can tell you this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to hear this, okay, Bob. I okay, hear yeah, this. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What, cousins, what a... main lobster asked me for my address about three weeks ago because they were going to send me merch and I was going to wear it without saying anything onto the show and be like, I just received this exclusive. No one's ever gotten it before merchandise. And it's just there has been zero follow up after I sent my address and size. And I've just been completely ghosted once again by these by these people, <laughs> these people at Cousins. They're Main wonderful Lobster. people. <laughs> I'm sure they are. But I, I, I their communication, uh, much like the lines at the food truck, leaves something <laughs> oh, to be desired. Oh, gee. I, see, I won't take the slander to the nice people at Cousins. They're I, I wonderful. Don't, I don't dislike them. I, well, I'm it certainly sounds happened. like you. It, it certainly well, I'm just sounds like you Bob, got some beef Bob, or some happened? lobster. If we're going to call it as it is. But and here's here's what I thought would bother you more, even more so than the other guy. And, and here's the text from Joseph um, it, to the CEO of Cousins of Maine Lobster. And by the way, I had did I tell you I had the ravioli? It it's, is. I have not tried it yet, Joe. It is. There's no bullshit. It is just straight. <laughs> okay, up. what's better, Bob, the, the the Brady brand or Cousins? You want me to be honest? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Cousins. But I can't really wear the Brady band with 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 Roback to wear. For me, it would be Cousins Main Lobster for yeah. sure. But here's the message from Joe. Now here is where I would be a little more bothered than even just calling you the other guy. Giuseppe says to the CEO. Also, we need our other guy on the pod to get something sent to him. LOL. He's whining because he was left out. Laugh emoji, Why? laugh it emoji. It was a joke, emoji. Bob. I think the whining part to me, Mikey. I forgot B, the whining. I forgot the whining. That's where I thought that you would be even a little more upset. And by the way, if I was trashing Bear Down, I wouldn't send him the screenshot of the message I sent to the CEO. So you, you would just do I'm an open book. I was making a joke. It was oh. a it was in heart, it was it was a hearty joke made in, in you know and not bad taste at all, which is why I sent you it. It's not like I'm trashing you behind your back. I'm sending you the message. I appreciate that, Joe. Thank you very much. You are a transparent, uh, you're a transparent shit talker. I I appreciate the transparency. Do you know what Cutsy does that I get to? to kick out of and he's done it ever since i've known him and i don't know why he does it when he sends you a screenshot of the text message he'll use the art like format and he'll use the red paint and he'll circle the message that he's talking about as if you can't <laughs> fucking know what he's referencing it's so absurd and it's the most crooked it looks like dominic fucking drew it with his fingers with a fucking crayola Around the screen, it's so sloppy. <laughs> but Joe, it is. Well, I'm trying to save you guys time from Joe, reading the cool message. Yeah, no, no, and I, I agree I with mean, that. Joe, don't... the message is this big. It's on a fucking phone screen. How long yeah. is it? It's <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, when I just have a lot of attention to detail, I guess that's my fault. <laughs> you are detail oriented. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. You, uh, you know what? Talk about outrageous too. Even like around that line, I don't know if you have it, Joe. But how about when you we got our first email from Mikey V 
And I always email him and I always email him the Zoom links. Mikey V on the bottom of his email has a disclaimer to prevent any t- It's the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen in my life. I actually that? think there might be one that's crazier. It's I gotta crazy. show you. It, it, it's absolute, and he defends it. It's so ridiculous. Have you got an Have you got an email from Fat Perez yet? No. What does Fat Perez say? Look at the disclaimer on the bottom of Fat Perez's. Can you see this? You know. Can you read it out to us? <laughs> Look at the logo. The, logo. Oh, the yeah. big guy, Fat Perez. Yeah, that's nice, though, man. Uh, yeah, that's. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> now, if Bob, Bob, are you trying to find an email to read the, the disclaimer? I got to read the Mikey V disclaimer. And it's just so <laughs> classic, Mikey V. It, it, it is like. What I mean, I, I haven't seen, I'm not seeing the disclaimer, to be honest. I sent it to the group and he, he, he defended it. It's the most ridiculous. I, no, I want to. not, Bob. I'm I protecting myself. There it is. There's <laughs> there it is. There it is. I got it. You ready for this? So this is under the bottom of his email. It's the most ridiculous thing of all. Confidentiality note in caps. This email and any document attached to it may contain information which is confidential and or legally privileged. If you are not, <laughs> if, you, if you are not the intended recipient, you are hereby notified that any disclosure, copying, distribution, printing, or other use or any action based in the contents of this email is strictly prohibited. If you have received this communication in error, please immediately notify me and destroy. Destroy the original message. What are Thank you. Sending you. the Declaration of Independence. That's the most <laughs> thorough, <laughs> ridiculous thing. That is a bit extreme, Bear. No, You're not, not sending your banking information. No, uh, well, yes, in certain cases, uh, there's some sensitive information that passes along the emails, and that's just an extra layer of protection for me. If it, if something ever becomes a civil litigation, um, that'll be an added oh, layer. Wow attorneys I and mean, my attorneys are proud of me for using that shout out uh, looks like you don't need an attorney shout out to the giant tomasi law firm uncle frank uh little frank cousin frank thank you um you know they they appreciate little things like that i mean yeah it sounds like you don't need any attorney at all because it sounds like you've got it covered yourself mikey B. well we have to have all our bases covered joe <laughs> and you guys i quite frankly i think you guys should incorporate a little language into your emails these are you're gonna That's become kinda, targets you're gonna kinda become kinda... targets I'm telling you. Doesn't that scare off the person you're sending an email to? They might be like, this guy is a little bit. I don't think so. I don't think so. Lord knows he's back. I my microphone. I I don't know if you could see it on on air. I smacked the living shit out of it. Well, it sounds good, though. Not intentionally. Yeah. Uh, Most ridiculous email of all time. I mean, it's just. I respectfully disagree. Totally crazy. (laughs) Um, Fellas, I, I do want to get into our uh, top five here this evening. I, I, I do think that it's a, it's a top five. It, it's a top five that really kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. Um, this top five is going to be top five pizza toppings. Now, I originally had thought that it was going to be one item, pepperoni, meatball, bacon, whatever it may be. Mike Evie, why don't you describe to the folks just how this is going to go down? Well, I just, I, I posed the question as we usually do before we go uh, to record. Um, I posed the question to elaborate a little bit and said, if someone was to name Hawaiian pizza, mm-hmm. ham and pineapple, for instance, as one of their top fives, would that be acceptable? And the answer from yes. Bob was, you know, he's not sure, but Joe agreed. And I think it's fair that if you just do an individual topping, it's going to become very yeah, daunting, because... very boring. I think it's it spices it up if we're allowed to go with specific types of pies as well as toppings. So types of pizza, top five. We can just call it top five pizzas, I think. Top it's five. like it's yeah. like if you put top five pastas, you know, you you you, you want it. You, you don't just give the sauce. You give the sauce with the pasta. Yeah, yeah. It's fair, the combination is, yeah. is how I see it. That'd be fair enough. To, top can five I just say something that was one of the most shocking things to me of of all time and i don't know if it gives away anybody's top five i don't know if anybody has it or not joey cold cuts not knowing what a grandma slice is to me was one of the i i, I mean bear down in my role i was shocked well i don't well, know if, what is, I what, think is, this what is, is i think this is the the uh i think again we have the canadian i think is we have the canadian, canadian yeah i think we have what, a canadian what is on it actually because you guys didn't answer 
to go on. Bob just sent a bunch of pictures. I didn't so know. The grandma is like a thin version of a Sicilian. It's a thin crust Sicilian, basically a thinner crust Sicilian pie. You still got mozzarella, your tomato sauce. Sometimes the tomato sauce is a little bit spicier of a sauce at times, but it's it's a baked sheet. Uh, thinner is it like a square a pizza? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. I, got, I know what that okay. is. What do they okay. call that in okay. Canada, though, Joe? I, I they call know. that a clubhouse pizza. Bob. A clubhouse <laughs> pizza. <laughs> All right. Well, um, without further ado, <laughs> I, I do think that's this a good is a one, good Bear one. Down. I'll take thank, that one on. We, you, are, we are going to start with with Joey D. Let, let, let's see what you oh. said he's got for us. We're going to start right you know, out of the game. Joe, I feel for you, man. I really do think you get the short end of the stick a lot. I do what? a lot. For I'm what? picked on he more on this podcast than anybody. I think I Bob, mix I was it. I'm just I, kidding. I think I do a good I, job. I get I get I get roasted in this pod more than anyone else by far. It's oh, not even wow. close. Yeah. Bear down would be the second. Bob by Bob, by the way, skates on on which is why today was nice to kind of had a story to kind of roast him a bit. That was some I mean, story he, too. He just flies by unscathed normally. <laughs> There's no <laughs> issue whatsoever. And he's just jabbing at us like we're little voodoo dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, all the listeners are laughing. You no, know, it's I just, got, it's just. I I got people out there right now thinking that I use strawberry flavored condoms right now. Yeah, so that's probably, yeah, yeah, and I bet you right now he's gonna have at least five DMs after this show, reaching out to to see if you know he could he could show them in person. Oh, anyway, that's neither can here we, nor can there. We, but... Can we? Can we wow. not, man? I, I, you know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm thinking of my mom and dad in Jupiter, Florida, on the patio, listening to this episode. Oh, is that what you're thinking of, Bob? Bachelor, what do you mean? Like you're tied down? Yeah, that's what you're. That's what you're thinking of, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's get like, back to Bear Down's <laughs> talk. Yeah. yeah, he's really thinking of... of, of, uh, of yeah, 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 he took yeah, that narrative and ran with it. Uh, yeah. well, the moral <laughs> of the story here yeah, is right, we right, have Johnny right. Sins <laughs> on the bottom segment of our podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Bear Down, in advance, yeah. I really am. Uh, That's okay. Wow, boy, that flipped on me pretty fast. I got to say what I really did. Wow. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start off... At number five, give me a margarita pizza. Okay, Great Great I think it's it's a this is a pizza that is really it's pretty basic. It's very rustic, but it's very enjoyable. Um, and and it's 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 definitely deserves to me to, to be in the top five. I'm gonna put that at five. Number four, give me meat lovers. Okay, now this is bottom uh, tier of my top five, but I think it's very good. It's sometimes a little overwhelming the amount of meat that it is. It's not for everybody. But again, I think it's a very good with the sausage, the pepperoni, the uh, the bacon is is very good. And so for me, I think it does deserve to be on that pedestal. So give me that at number four. All right. Now here's where we start to get a little bit tricky here. And number three, I'm going to go with the white pesto pizza. Okay. Pesto ricotta cheese. I think it's very, very good. Bob doesn't agree with me. I, I I don't think it's an everyday pizza, but for me, if you do this right, like Bob, when you go to Vito's, the <laughs> white pesto, the white pesto is it, the, the ricotta and the pesto. It's very good. Um, not, not my top two, but I think it's definitely there. Number two is going to be for me. This is tough. Um, and number two, I'm going to go with a Supreme or Deluxe pizza. So that's with pepperoni, the green peppers, olives, onions, like the Supreme. I like that a lot. Um, I think it's it gives me a little bit of everything, all black olives. I like it all. Number two. And at number one, I'm going to go a barbecue chicken pizza. I think that that is stupendous. I think everybody can enjoy it. Um Again, this is, if I'm going traditional pizza, like if I'm going like in Italy, I'm not doing that. I'm going to go with like a, just a traditional like margarita pizza. But like I'm talking about being in the United States, barbecue chicken pizza. I, the first time I had it, I thought it was unbelievable. That's my number one. You know, I, I'm thinking about this right now and it's, it's, I will give you guys the credit in the fact that it is better to go this way because I actually think there's a lot of different mix in the match in that we there's a lot of variation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it, it's, we would, have, been, we would have been, we would have really backed ourselves into a corner with single toppings. I feel yeah. like. And single toppings yeah. would have been a lot of the same things. Uh, with that being said, Chicken Mikey or v, pepperoni. I, yeah. I'm wildly curious for this list we're about to get from Mikey V. 
Okay, I want to start with this. Joe, the Meat Lovers is the only one where I'm really, you know, people love Meat Lover, but to me, I just, the structure of the slice never holds up to the weight of the meat. It's just so overwhelming that the the, the structure of the slice itself is compromised. And that's okay. why I can't go with that. Yeah, that's fine. But, but I do get why you like it. I do. But anyway, number five, I'm going to go with a white pie. Just a plain white pie. No pesto on it. I like pesto, but I, I want it on my pasta. I don't want it on my pizza, just preference-wise. Plain white pie, mozzarella with the ragot cheese on top, the little circles of ragot that they do yes, on top. That's so Baked good. real nice. Uh, all my pie, I like thin crust pie. That's just how I like it. And well done. That's how I like my pizza. Number four, this one is gonna is gonna raise some eyebrows, but it is what it is. And I'll take I'll I'll take the bullet for it. Penne vodka, penne vodka mm. pizza, pasta vodka pizza is just i mean it's slovenly it really needs to be like a once a year type of thing because you can't like it's justifying rich. putting pasta on top of pizza is outrageous but unless you've had it you really don't know how fucking wait, wait, wait. you're is. talking about actual pasta pizzas pieces on the pizza penne vodka on top of pizza yes that's a Jersey, New York thing, Joe. It's got to oh, yeah. be, bro. It's look it's, at him. I've, I, so now I've got now, this, this, this is now sacrilegious got, here. But, but, but this no, is, I, I thought you meant like the the, uh, the a la vodka sauce on the pie, but they you're talking do that. They do adding... that also, but they do penne vodka on top of pizza baked on top. It's unreal, Joe. It's unreal. It's unreal. Bob, have you tried this? Joe, I got to I got to back them up here. I, I do. Is it really I, that good? Bro, I Joe. thought I was going to get it's on my Joe, list. let me put it to you this I, way. I thought you I was like going to get buried for it. I love pizza. Yes. Do you like penne vodka? I love penne. Yes. You'd love penne vodka. vodka pizza. Moving on to number 3. Wait, I'm really? going to go Go ahead, I'm Bob. sorry. I you know, I should not have interrupted there. So I, I apologize, but something I'm seeing people do now is do um and I don't know if you've seen this cutsy is with chicken parm, like at Craig's people do it, although Craig's is wildly overrated. Um, they're doing penny, um, penny vodka with chicken parm that I want to try. That instead of the chicken parm with the red sauce, it's the penne vodka sauce. And it oh, looks yeah. so good. I mean, I think somebody from your crew even did it. Uh, Mikey, there's, that a rest there's a restaurant called Frank Anthony's in Verona, right around the corner from me. My buddy, Nick Squid, we call him Squid. He owns the restaurant. He does a veal chop parm on the bone, oh, pounded wow. thin veal chop on that the bone, sounds... vodka parm, vodka parm. That sounds stupid. And yes. it is, bro, it is fucking incredible. And then he even puts a little slice of prosciutto on top of the veal chop oh, underneath the melted mozzarella oh and the vodka my sauce. God. I mean, you're rolling out on a, on a wheel back <laughs> right, after right. you eat it. But I mean, it's, it's, it's fucking incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Shout out, Frank Andy Squid. Number three, plain sausage pie. Just sausage pie. I, I That is my favorite topping. I'm not a pepperoni guy so much. I like a meatball, but to me, the, the meat that reigns supreme on top of my pizza is a sausage. I like sausage pie. So I'm going to go with sausage pie at number three on a plain pie. Number two, give me grandma. I love grandma pie. Uh, thin crust. Sicilian to me is just like grandma does exactly what Sicilian wants to do, but makes it much more manageable and not as like you have two slices and you're done for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. Grandma, you could go on and on. I just think it holds up better because it's thinner. Uh, grandma pie for me is banging. And then number one, Number one for me, and I got to say it, uh, it's been a staple of mine now for years and different places do it different ways. Buffalo chicken pizza is number one. for That's me. good, it too. Is. I love a buffalo chicken pie. Buffalo chicken pie, if done right, is just it's something really different and something really special to say what, uh, what Bob, what you would say. It's just really special buffalo chicken. Yeah. So that would be my number one. I, you know, I'll tell you, Bear Down, I thought that I was going to get dogged on the ZD pie, but I, in New Jersey, the pizza place by me is called Pizza Palace. Shout out Pizza Palace. I used to go in there and they would have, they would call it a ZD slice. And it was baked ZD on like a pizza with still their regular sauce. Unbelievable. So I actually had that at five. Um Great I got that in the five hole. Um, and then number four, I I went ahead and went meat lovers at four. I'm with Joe there. I did hear your take though, Bear Down, and I get it. And even what you said, Cutsy, is true that 
the only issue with the meat lovers is it's overwhelming. You're not going to eat four of those things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's a very iconic pie and I do like it, but I do understand both points there. Um, Number three, I got the margarita. I think you can't go wrong with the margarita. I got margarita in the three hole. Um, And then two, I got the grandma pie as well. I think the grandma pies. I mean, I haven't had a whole lot of it out here, Mikey V. Um, yeah. But back back in Jersey, I mean, I, I'll take it anywhere that I could get it, um, especially when mixing and matching slices. And then for me, if you have to go with topping, topping that I do love, the stand, the gold standard of pizza is the plain cheese pizza. And I think the closest you can get to that is pepperoni. And I love pepperoni. So I actually got the pepperoni pie at one. I think that's going to resonate really well. I think yeah, it of, is. Everybody followers are going to love that. Yeah, everyone. I just pepperoni. think it's the I just, closest I, thing. I, the only thing that I'm, I'm back and forth about is I hearing the meat lovers take. I get that. I understand that. I what's the honorable to, mention? Uh, my honorable mention, I would go with white pizza. I don't do it often when I do it bangs, but I would, I would go with the white pizza and you're right with the pesto um, at Vito's. I was going to say Vito's does it very well. Yeah. Mikey V honorable mention. Pepperoni would be my honorable mention. I, I, li- I like pepperoni. I just, it, it's, it's just not something that like, I never am at so home. Standard. And I'm like, I, I get, yeah, it is, but I give it an honorable mention because it's due an honorable mention. It is by far. I just feel like everywhere you go, pepperoni. If it's not a plain pie, the first order at a party with a bunch of people is like, oh, everyone will eat pepperoni. Everybody will eat it. And that's true. I will eat it and yeah. I'll enjoy it. My my honorable mention, I'll throw you a curveball. I'm going to do beef and blue cheese pizza is really fucking good. Have you ever had that, Bob? No, no. But thank Christ, it didn't make your top five. I can tell you that. <laughs> You got pasta on your fucking pizza. Joe, Joe, next wait, time you come out here, you'll know why. Wait, wait Joe, I, I, I'm truly curious. I'm, I'm truly curious. What is a beef and blue cheese? That's now, is that a, a Canada That's a Canadian thing? pie. It's yeah. got it's to it be, to right? Be. He's looking up a picture of it. <laughs> you know, you know the, the amount of slander that I get. This is a great i've pizza. never heard of that joe ever Neither i've never I. heard of blue cheese on a pizza Neither ever i'm gonna be uh well maybe like a like a fig like on an artisanal pizza like a it's fig, just the sauce blue they put maybe. on it it's just they have beef on it and they put the sauce on it. it's fucking amazing it looks like this like like blue cheese sauce like you would dip wings in no they circle <laughs> joe, the blue cheese on it, it. Looks so terrible. you do yourself any favors with that fucking picture buddy i'm sorry just pull the picture off the internet <laughs> Besides, it's an honorable mention anyways. It doesn't go in the graphic, you jackasses. It may this week. Oh, yeah. Bear, <laughs> oh, Bear Don wants to win. He's, he's throwing the honorable mention. Just oh, come oh, on, Joe. Oh, Joe, come oh, on, Joe. That's not, let, let's not go there now, oh. Giuseppe. Fassbender, I swear to God, if I see that in the fucking... <laughs> oh! Whoa, let's not go at our interns now, Joey D. Come on, come on now, Cutsy. I'm just saying this in all honesty, not being a dick at all. It looks terrible it sounds <laughs> yeah, it sounds joe it sounds even worse than the it picture looks. the picture it was so bad joe terrible, now joe is this ground beef like just yes, like hamburger so good. Meat? yes yes okay it's fucking good man i can't i mean yes i i don't know what you want me to say it doesn't doesn't look appealing it's fucking delicious <laughs> No. You done, Bob? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done, Joe. It just that caught me. The two two biggest things you've done on the show that's caught me off guard is that, and then bubble gum the ice other, cream. The bubble gum ice cream. By the way, I got a, I got a lot of support for the bubble gum ice cream. I mean, oh, I, just, I, I think I think. Let me Baskin ask you. Robbins, let me ask you a Baskin question, Robbins Joe. Has let me bubble ask you. Ice cream, let me, so Joe, let me ask it. you a question, Joe. Let me ask you a question. Why is it? When you say you get a lot of support for something like on the side, people DM you, it's you can use that. But when I say that and I use it, oh, what is it, Bear Down? What is it? Four people DM'd you? We run a massive <laughs> show here. Half a million people. Blah, blah, blah. When did I start sounding like Donald oh. Trump? 
Well, I, was, yeah, I don't know I, what happened. I, <laughs> I, I, I haven't I, talked to you in so long. I, I, I know. By the way, I did apologize to you this week. I said, I said to Mikey V, I said, it feels weird because I barely talked to him this week and, and, and it felt strange. It, we're all it, busy. You know, we just have a lot of busy. shit going on. Everybody's and people busy. who are watching, guys, say, oh, these guys are all golf and having a time of their lives. It's, it's tiring trying to like in that desert sun, like it was a lot. It, I felt that I feel exhausted after that five day trip. Like, I honest. mean, I would call it similar to what the Egyptians had to go through building the pyramids. Joe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's I mean, got to do it. Direct down parallel. Here. Somebody's got to do it. I'm leaving my, my, you know, I'm leaving my footprint on the world. <laughs> yes, you yes. sure as hell yes, are. Yes, you are. Yeah, you, are. Yeah, you sure as hell yes, are. You are. <laughs> Fucking incredible, boy. Incredible. God, we should do more <laughs> Wednesday episodes. A, we got a lot of flair. We, we got a little bit of this. Uh, not, by the way, this is not a PG-13 episode this what week. This is a little... Oh, this is NC-17. We, we, yeah. we passed the, the, you know, we pass the Monday yeah. taping... And go to Wednesday, and all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. Yeah, but this was it, the energy level was high. Yeah, it it's, was. I think we were all excited to do the pod. It today. was. I, you know, I'll be. I'll say I didn't think the last week was one of our best. I know what these three are capable of. And when we got off, I said, very rarely do we miss. And I don't even think you could call it a miss. But I didn't think we had our A stuff. This I thought was really terrific. Um, in regards to not to the digest <laughs> being a little bit silent, I was in the pool. You guys were at the PJ Tour Superstore. I was in the. Um, the soaking tub, they call it. It's pretty much, I guess. I, it's I, like I, a waiting pool. Yeah, it's I was a, in yeah. I said, holy shit, man. I mean, I haven't talked to Mikey V in like a week. Yeah, it's weird. I called him. It was good yeah, talk, no, Michael? Very good talk. Very good talk. You know, everybody, in between what you guys are doing with the Bob Does Sports and then with this new house is going to be the death of me. Just I'm, I'm <laughs> my entire weekend is just eaten up by the by the new house and making sure this guy's doing the right thing. That guy's shout out Paul Cafone, general contractor. How's the uh, new man came to me? Oh, bro, it's totally the basement is totally demoed. Bar is still intact. Uh, the electrician's coming to do all the new lighting down there. Going to have brand new, all new lighting, brand new big screen TV, caddy cornered small TV up by the bar. The bar's going to get totally refinished. It's going to be something real special down there, Joe. Well, I'm going to really, go really ahead is. and invite me and Cole Cuts to a housewarming party. When that when that new cave yeah. is there, and I want to go back for those Rockefeller oysters. Um, yeah, that's. Well, I talked to Nikki about that also. I said, you know, and hey, Bob, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Correct Joe me if I'm lie. wrong. Rayo's is the experience, but Frankie and Johnny's just has a special place in my heart. I'm talking about Frankie and Johnny's Steakhouse in Manhattan, where me and Bob went. The time cuts, it's he nice. couldn't come out because he was working. It looks like a special dinner. It's okay, just, you know, it's, it's just different. It's different. You were drinking the martinis. I, I yeah, martinis were going Joe, down. And... I always talk to Joe about you know home fries. He knows how much I love home fries. Like, <laughs> You when I think of home fries. This guy with the fucking home fries. Bro, yeah. They look fucking good, though. They we'll go into a restaurant. Good. The first thing he asks him is, do you have home fries? <laughs> and in, in L.A., half the people don't even know what home fries are. They do yeah. hash browns. That's a problem, sure. though. That's a legitimate problem. The closest yeah. thing to the home fries um, in L.A. is... is By the way, my dad makes stuff. home fries. I bet the Rocket makes a tremendous... <laughs> you got to yeah. see... I mean, Berta, if you were to see his dad... He has so many similar mannerisms and characteristics to Joe. And mm -hmm. you think that Joe's just a one of one, but you see his dad, it's, it's, it's pretty fascinating. Um, and apparently he snores just as loud as him, if not louder. Cole cuts the first Wait, night at I mean, the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Fat Perez was in the same room with him. Perez did not last one night with him. He immediately went over to the new room because he couldn't do with the snoring. He's got so much characteristics of his dad. It's it's fascinating. my dad's got sleep apnea. It's a medical condition, Bob. Oh well. There's no way Perez doesn't snore. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. That's the good. problem is I fall asleep so easily that I'm always the first one to sleep in the bedroom, yeah. and then that always, you know. Fair now I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to DC this weekend to meet with a young lady, and I gotta buy a fucking Not mouth magnets. guard. You can buy a mouth guard. I, don't no, buy no magnums. <laughs> but I, I gotta buy. I gotta buy a mouth guard. I gotta buy a mouth guard because the sleep apnea keeps your jaw closed so that the tonsils don't resonate when you breathe. But it was nice for for me to so you could see somebody else have to evacuate the room because you always thought that I'm over exaggerating. That's and my old man. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that that's fun? a nice set of hair, that's man. Joe. That's Joe. Is that yep. not me? But Mikey? a little closer to that. Yep. That's Joe. Is that amazing? Yeah. Just really, really Sharp. amazing. Sharp. Just unbelievable. Sharp. 
Um, Very all right, boys. Well, I, I tell you what, Bob, I'll take the hair for the snoring. No oh, question, in a, in a you fucking don't think heartbeat. I would do that too. In a Are heartbeat. I'll be a well, fucking. It's, 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 it is, it is, it's, it's not a medical condition I'm proud of. The snoring is not something that I'm proud of. He was snoring on the plane today, Bear Down. He fell No, oh my plane. God. I'm not snoring lying, the... Joe. You I'm had earbuds in. You were listening to music. How the hell could you hear the snoring? Joe, do you think I tried talking makes... to you when I woke up. You couldn't even hear me. Do you think? You think Tell you what, I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what Whoa! happened to me. Whoa, is that the old that man? That set of yeah. lettuce, man. <laughs> Holy, Holy. You know who now, that kinda, was it. You know what kind of looks like a little bit? That's well, it. it's uh, funny you say that because I had him in a side by side with the guy from Goodfellas because <laughs> I thought it was eerily similar. The guy who's with Billy Bats at the bar scene in Goodfellas <laughs> Billy Bats, yeah. looks exactly uh, like uh, Billy Bats' is, friend. But uh, who does he that's look like? a good set of hair. You should have been fucking blessed with tell that. You, tell you know, one thing. What a, what a fucking joke. It skipped a generation. I no, I think I got in my mother's side, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. My mom. Well, maybe maybe you got know. your dad. Did your dad have blue eyes? No, your mom had blue eyes. Yeah, they both have light eyes. He, my he, dad's got green eyes. My mom. The blue eyes, eyes are great, by the way. Joey. He didn't have blue I know, eyes. but I, you know, he didn't have blue eyes, but he sure had a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, I think that's that's guys that's wrap that's it up. That's another edition. Wrap it up. Of Bob the whoa, 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 don't another oh. condom joke, Joe. Was I there another know. condom? No, joke? he made a no, he made a we gotta get off the air. He made a cock joke, and then he said that's another this, episode of Bob does sports. This guy's all said, over the map. Let's get out of said, here. And you said wrap it up. I thought it was another condom joke. Let's get out of here. Let's get you're all sick. Another we're episode of the sick. brilliantly dumb show, Brilliant. not Bob does, Bob, sports, Bob does sports. Bob, jeez, Love come on. Love you, boys. <laughs>